Beautiful finish. That's stainless, that is. Just taking this piece here, this is a piece of stainless. Just taking out the vice so of machine this face, them two sides. It's down to width now. So what I want to do now is put it back in this side up and machine it down to five millimeters in width. Then I can machine at the 45 degree angle on it. Bring it to length obviously. And that piece will be done. So this isn't holding on by much in the vise here. It's on a couple of parallels. I've got 185 thou to take off it. So yeah, it's sort of 25 thou depth of cut. Slow feed rate. I don't want to pull it out of here. Just see how it's going to go with that anyway. It's going to take a while. So I've decided just to make this 200 thou deep, that's how wide the blade's going to be on this bevel square. Um, can't be bothered to stuff around with metric and imperial, so just need 200. So got 10 thou left to come off this, so I'll just do it with a fly cutter. Spot on the 200. Right, yeah, we've got these pieces of stainless in here. We've got to cut a 45 on, which will, when it's done, it'll come back to this corner down here, across here. So all I've done is use that digital angle box and set it to 45 degrees. And I just, I know there's a bit sticking out of the vise, but we'll just gently gnaw that away. fits in there just nicely mm. so I might go ahead and make the blade now uh, this piece is going to be the blade it is stainless it's a mile too thick and it's going to take a fair bit of time to get it down I'm not going to rush it and burn cutters up for no reason so it's going to take me time so I'm not going to show much of this just knocking it down to size but, uh, see how we go eh? Got this down to width now. 983. So I'm pretty stoked with that. Really happy. 
So now I've got to bring it down to bring this down to 200,000 thick. Okay, I've got it laying on the flat on some parallels. I've just done one pass with the fly cutter, just clean up one side. I'm not real happy with the finish, so I just put a new insert in and there we go again. finish. Just going to a bit of a fiddle around off camera and see if I can get any better. Right now, after a fair bit of bugger eyes and round, um, I couldn't get the big fly cutter to put a decent finish on this this morning for some reason. So I've gone back to, oh you can see it there, my little fly cutter. The um, solid carbide insert, or oh, braised carbide insert. That's all. Yeah. So, look, it's not as nice as I would have liked it, but it's going to do when you really boils down to it. It's only a bloody bevel square, and I was trying to get that mirror finished, but I did get a. That's a bit I done yesterday. That's a much nicer finish. I just can't get that again. I just bugger if I can get that finish again. You know, things aren't just. Want to play ball properly today? Never mind. It is what it is. So I'm just going to take another five thou off this, take it out, clean the edges up, and then bring it down to 200 thou depth, or 200 thou thick. Well, sadly, I didn't get the finish I was wanting there. I tried a number of things and I just could not get it to come up nice so I think it's going to be back to the wet and dry on a piece of glass and try and yeah bring it back that way that's what I'm going to try anyway so once I've done that I'll bring his back and let you know how I get on but I don't know what's going on today I just can't seem to get that the other side's okay but I've tried different feeds speeds everything and I'm down to 200 there. I can't take really any more off it. I can sand a touch off, but that's about it. Oh, that's not too bad. A couple of quick rubs on the um, piece of glass. It's going to do. It's going to have to do, because I ain't making another one. Just a bit of a burr on the end there to get off, but these are going to be tapped for M4. So there'll be one here, one over this side, and one down this end down here. I'm sure that was the way it went. I'm going to double check myself to make sure I've got that angle the right way. Because that would be terribly embarrassing to drill through the, the blade, wouldn't it? Now I'm double checking myself. I'm sure I've got it right. Yeah, I did have it right. So one here, another one down here, another one up the top.
Gotta go on M4 clearance hole. M4 clearance hole. So I can just get the threads in the bottom of this. If I've done my calculations correctly, that should have just finished drilling at the um, at that joint, the bottom joint. If I've done my calculations correctly, we're going to find out when it comes apart. I'm going to thread this one now, and countersink it, put the bolt in. I'll do that off camera, thread it. Okay, before I dodge, well, I think I've dodged the bullet. I put a clamp on each end, um, just in case these decide to move, just because there's three pieces in there. Um, I got lucky when I drilled it, but I was thinking I should really put a clamp on that before it bites me in the ass. Which is what I did. So I've drilled, I've tapped that hole. Just got a, um, just got a countersink it now. go ahead and put another one in here and one down here and then it'll be um, either round the end off or drill this far end work out that and put a slot in the blade I just wanted to get this held together it may even just end up with a square end on it yet I don't know we'll see how we go so now we've got all them done finally Edge could be trimmed off obviously. Still got easy flex there, so when you do clamp it down, it is going to clamp tight, which I've been worried about, but it's going to be too stiff. I've got the blade up, sitting on some parallels. I've used an edge finder and found center, two center drills here, they're 90 mil apart. I'm going to put a 5 millimeter slot. So I'm going to drill each end. I've got somewhere for the, the end mill to go into. I've got a 5 mil gearing 2 flute end mill next to brand new and a spare one to go with it just in case. <laughs> No doubt, all my luck lately, it'll probably break. But being stainless, just got to go easy on it, that's all. Just take it easy. God, that's over with. 
didn't turn out too bad in the end. That'll do. So what I've done then, I turned it over again and just done an M5 clearance hole in this side, just where the, the thumb screw is going to go, just so it's on the same side of the, as the head of the screws. Just make it look a bit neater, I think. Okay, last night after dinner, I was sitting on the um, sitting on the lounge, thinking this was in the back of my mind. You know, how am I going to make sure I get this rotary table work done right? So I haven't done a lot of it. So, got the better of me. Um, come out, made a cup of tea, and decided to set it up and yeah, see if, yeah what was fresh in my mind. So what I done, I used five millimeter drill in this hole, lined it up over, or centered the rotary table, and then centered this hole. I don't want a full full stick arc on the end of this. Yeah, I just want a nice curve on the end. So, doing a dummy run over top of it, it should just put a nice, nice arc on the end of it, which is what I want. Like I say, I haven't done a lot of rotary table work and it's something I really want to learn a bit more about. So, I'm going to take, attempt this one. If this looks alright, then I'll do the tip of the blade, the end of the blade as well. Put a nice arc on that. This is going to take a fair while, this is stainless and I'm not going to rush it. I've got a fair bit of stick out to get over top of these bolts here, I'll need to get smaller ones. I haven't got any, so I'm just going to gnaw away at this gently. That'll do.
a five mil thread on there. as good as the right length. give myself a little bit more room my poor old Merlin tool she's had a bit of a hard life but it still keeps going it surprises me how much slop there is in the poor old thing but it still works Until it just keeps going, just won't give up. Knob. Did it work out alright? Well, it's time for final assembly. The body, the blade, stainless. I'm not worrying about putting a washer on this, but I'll put that little lip on there. It's flush. It's actually got a pretty good hold. It takes quite a bit of effort to make that move. There we go. It's all done. Well, that's another project done and dusted. And, um, I'm sure Trent's going to get a lot of use out of this over his apprenticeship and yeah, in the future. I just hope it doesn't end up covered in weld splatter or lost. <laughs> anyway, if it does, we'll just have to make another one. 
And that was been that was actually a bit more work involved in that than what I initially thought, and it took longer than what I initially thought too. But the blade being stainless, that took a fair while to machine, which is understandable. Um, didn't want to burn up heap of cutters, but the actual knurl on the handles turned out really, really good. I'm really stoked with that. It's pretty uniformed and it's yeah, it's not hard on the hands. Now, I hope Trent's pretty stoked with this. Um, and I have told him that this is a one-off. So none of his mates need to get any ideas and start sending orders in for him because I ain't building anymore. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, I actually really enjoyed using it, and might be using it, building it. So, right, see you on the next video. Alright.